Las Vegas is old enough now to where it has built up its own nostalgia. People, they're looking for that old Las Vegas vibe, the nostalgia of its early heydays. Las Vegas does have a history of very popular Italian restaurants. There's at least one Italian restaurant in every hotel. It just speaks to the popularity of the cuisine in general. Except it's more delicious in Las Vegas than whatever your grandma used to make. Carbone is just a natural fit for Las Vegas because it's flashy, it's glamorous, a place that has a scene built into it. It is inspired by all the formal fine dining Italian American restaurants that I grew up going to. Every celebration, anniversary, that place that you go to on Friday or Saturday night. You walk into Carbone and you do feel this old school vibe. And that glamour feeds very well into Las Vegas. We love that feeling and you get that when you're in there. We wanted to bring New York to the West Coast and we didn't want to bring the West Coast to this restaurant. This is a classic New York Italian American restaurant. It's reminiscent of New York with a little extra gildedness, a little extra fanfare, a little extra Vegas. You know, the Aria gave us an opportunity to tell our story here. It's been a perfect marriage. We're putting back an idealized version of that Italian-American restaurant. So taking everything we learned from both, you know, French, European, American masters, and then putting it towards this cuisine that hadn't seen love in a very, very long time. Behind the scenes, we're modernizing it. Whether you, you know it or not, that's that thing that, that separates Carbone from the rest. The food is very homey, very familiar. They bring out the food and you're like, oh, this is, this is exactly what I'm in the mood for. This is exactly what I'd hoped it would be. Everything is made every day, every bread, every pasta, every cake, every one of those details that goes into each dish that way. Tortellini that's rolled today cannot be served tomorrow. We bring in our fish every day from the East Coast, Spain, and Holland, from all over the world. We butcher everything. We control everything from start to finish. All these dishes you can find anywhere. The things that makes them better here is how we cook them, where they come from, and the ingredients we use. When you put rules like that in place, you're ensuring that every bite is optimal. These guys knew they had to go up to another level if they were gonna make an impact in Vegas in this crowded restaurant scene, and they did it. Also making sure that along the way, it doesn't lose its identity. Things are getting more casual all the time, it seems like, even in a fine dining restaurant. I think the service is really the thing that has set this place apart. Service that's taken to another level. The servers at Carbone are their captains, and they are gonna spend a lot of time with you. It's all about, you know, we got you. We're gonna take good care of you. You're at our house now. Relax, sit back. We're gonna have a great meal together. It's not just, you know, turn and burn restaurants. Here's your check, have a great day. For them, it's so much more. These are things from bygone eras. It's an old school approach to dining that is a lost art at this point. There's the showmanship of it. There's the, the, the waiter as the chef for a moment. That is when Tableside is at its best. And it adds to the sort of Fellini-esque element that is this restaurant. You feel very special when you're eating at Carbone. These restaurants are going away, they're dying. So it was really important to me, being who I am and what I am, that I try to put one back to tell the complete story is Rat Pack. It's Dean Martin on the 16th hole in his polo smoking a cigarette. I think Vegas feels this restaurant as its own. That's what Carbone is. Carbone elevates cuisine that we all love to this big Vegas level of this is an event.